Hey folks, how you doing? You know I got some extended batteries for the camera. So now I can do a video that I always wanted to do. Usually I go through different topics and I'll run out of battery time. So I always wanted to do a video listing multiple things that are wrong with atheism, proving beyond a shadow of a doubt that you cannot be atheist and be rational at the same time. And now, of course, I've got extra battery time so I can do this. So, for those of you uh, watching this video that are atheist, we're riding the Yamaha R1, which, in your opinion, just popped into existence uncaused out of nothing. I say that because I know how you guys hate intelligent design. Now for the Christians, you know, because you guys are rational, that this is a product of intelligent design. It did not just pop out of nothing into existence. But this is what atheists believe happened with the universe. You know, um, let's go through the list. So we're going to go through a list of reasons why atheism does not make sense. So do you know that um, atheists are on the debate circuit right now? Atheists like um, Lawrence Krauss, and they're trying a new method. They're trying a brand new method. I've never seen this until now in our lifetime. They're now trying to say nothing created everything. When you go to debates on video.blogspot.com, you'll see a video there where Ray Comfort debates Lawrence Krauss and actually defeats Lawrence Krauss on this topic. And Lawrence Krauss says, yes, the universe created itself <laughs> out of nothing. I'm looking down on my GPS here. That's why I'm doing that. So this is one major problem that atheists have, is science has shown that Christians were right all along. You know, years and years ago, atheists were claiming that, atheists were claiming one thing and Christians were claiming another thing, and both of their claims contradict each other. The atheists were claiming the universe is just eternal, like God, for example. The Christians were claiming, well, no, scripture says that the universe had a beginning. We believe the universe had a beginning, but the atheist scientist at that time, that's right, the atheist scientists, the so-called intellectuals, were disagreeing with the Christians and the Christian scientists because there are, as you know, most scientists, the great ones throughout history, claimed that God exists. So Christians and theists, we own the science. You're not going to hear Lawrence Krauss going down in history as a great scientist. Unfortunately, the guy's a joke. Same thing with Richard Dawkins. You, you know, these are not scientists that are regarded and respected, their, their books are being ripped apart by the critics. Uh, but now we know that all modern science shows the universe had a beginning. Atheists were wrong. And Christians were right. Strike one up for the Christians there. So. Now the atheists have a problem because they can't say the universe. Hold on a second, my nose is. They can't say the universe just exists necessarily and is eternal because something created it. Everyone agrees on that. It had a beginning. And we know that this motorcycle cannot create itself. It needs an outside source. Same thing with the universe. There has to be something outside the universe that created the universe. Well, it's down to two choices, folks. It has to be something that exists necessarily that does not need to be created. Hmm, what sounds like that? What meets that qualification? 
qualification. Would God meet that qualification? Yes. The only other explanation, and it's not rational, is you can't say the universe did it. You can't say nothing did it, but alas, my subscribers and friends, this is what atheists are saying. Lawrence Krauss has said that the universe... <laughs> I can't say it with a straight face. He has said that the universe created itself out of nothing. He has no scientific evidence of this. No one has ever seen nothing create something. See, that's different than God creating. Here they're saying nothing created. But if I put nothing in my gas tank and my gas tank's empty, I cannot start the motorcycle with gas. There's no gas in it. Nothing is nothing. Remember that song? Nothing from nothing is nothing. You got to have something. Remember? I don't know how atheists can't get that. So this is foolish thing number one that atheists believe in. Now another thing too, atheists have no evidence that atheism is accurate and correct. You know how atheists say they will not believe in things unless they have evidence? Matt Dillahunty recently lost a debate on this question. They asked him, they said, Matt, obviously you're saying evidence is important to you, so you must have seen some evidence that shows that you should live your life as an atheist. What is that evidence? And Matt Dillahunty had no evidence. So one of the issues with atheism is there is no proof and evidence that atheism is accurate and correct. The thing that atheists say they must have, they don't have that in atheism. Let's go with another mistake that atheists make. Atheists will say, I do not believe in God, as if that proves that God doesn't exist. It doesn't even prove that they don't believe in God. In fact, I know they believe in God. So because someone says something, if I say, uh, I know this is a Suzuki, it's still not going to change the fact that this is a Yamaha. It doesn't matter what you're saying you know, my atheist friends. You have to give some proof and evidence of why you believe God doesn't exist. And they never do. They never do. Um, so atheists will say, I don't believe in God, but nobody really believes them. Do you know that studies show that atheists are now the least trusted group in society? So this is another problem where atheists think if they just reject something, reject God, or reject the claim God exists, whatever, therefore God doesn't exist. And it doesn't really work that way. You can reject and reject that this is a Yamaha, try as you might, try as you must, try all you can, you're not going to change the fact that it is a Yamaha. You've got, uh, so, clutch in, check this out, braking, clutch in, braking, clutch in, downshift, 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 see the neutral light? That's how you do it, folks. Um, so atheists will say, we don't believe God exists. That's not enough. Number one, we don't believe you. We know that you know God exists. And number two, you're not giving any arguments against God's existence. For example, you could say, I reject Christianity. I reject God. I reject whatever, right? Couldn't the Muslims say, well, we reject atheism, therefore Islam is true. See, you can't argue that way. We know Islam and atheism are not true. But I hear this, um, it's mostly from the kids on YouTube. They'll say that they do not believe or they reject or whatever. Well, that doesn't prove that atheism is true. You've got to give some arguments. What are the arguments atheists try to use is evolution. But evolution doesn't really prove that atheism is true. In fact, the um, theory of abiogenesis and everything basically crawled out of the slime, you know, that's now falling to the wayside 
no one really believes that anymore. They're saying the conditions were not present for life to exist that way. So some atheists will say, well, we believe that everything, and you can ask them, they'll say, we believe that everything came out of the water, was created out of the water, not out of the slime, but out of the water or out of the earth. Well, that's what the Bible says. The Bible says that God formed them and created them out of the earth and out of the water. So you could say atheists are creationists, couldn't you? But they are creationists. Atheists are creationists. But they believe nothing did it. That's what they believe. I'm a creationist. I believe God created. God creating is much more rational <laughs> than nothing creating. Haven't put my foot down. Great. Here we go, folks. The mean, unforgiving freeways of California. So, you have atheists talking about evolution, but I want you to picture evolution like this. We're going to use the motorcycle as an example. There's the factory at Yamaha that was created by humans. The factory didn't create itself. And you do have some humans helping to assemble the motorcycle. Now, is it true that over time the Yamaha has changed? We'll even use the word evolved. Yeah, it has changed over time. So is evolution talking about how the Yamaha was created? It's not, is it? Isn't it? Evolution also is not talking about, nor does it have an explanation for, how mankind was created. All it's talking about is it's a theory on how things change. Like if I said to you, well, how did this Yamaha come into existence? And, um, and let's say you had a friend that was an atheist, and here's how he answers it. You and I are sitting there, and I ask you guys, how did this Yamaha come into existence? And your friend said, well, in uh, 1999, it looked like this, but then it evolved, and now it looks like this. And then, is your friend answering the question? No. He's just talking about how the Yamaha changed after it was created. And this is the problem for atheists. They just don't get it. They talk about evolution, which is a theory on how things change after the human or the species or the fish or whatever was created. So what we're talking about we want to know how the Yamaha was created. So you, being an intelligent person, you turn to your friend who's an atheist and you go, look, that doesn't make any sense. He's asking, how was the Yamaha created? And all you're talking about is how it changed over time and the body style changed over time and the motor changed over time and the exhaust system changed over time. You're not talking about how it was created. So you look at me and you go, you know, it was created because it's a product of intelligent design. The factory was created by humans, and then the factory spits out these parts. You see, that's the proper answer. But by telling me how the Yamaha changed over time, you're not disproving that this is a product of intelligent design. All you're talking about is how things change. Now, this is something that atheists do. They'll talk about something, I, I hate to say it, but ad nauseum. They'll talk about it until they're blue in the face, and it's not even the topic of discussion. Very, very windy, so I gotta yell. It's not just windy because we're on the motorcycle on the freeway, it's windy because we got these Santa Ana winds blowing in. So, when you are debating with an atheist and they're talking about evolution, just turn to them and 
say these words. Well, big whoop de doo You're talking about how things change over time. You're not talking about how they were created in the first place. Evolution does not, nor has it ever, answered that question. So my atheist friends, you can talk about evolution until you're blue in the face, like a smurf. But you're not answering the question, how was the Yamaha created? How were we created? You're not answering it. You can't use abiogenesis how things just pop from slime. And the atheists really have a tough sell, right? They want you to believe, and, and you'll see that atheists will say that you came from monkeys. They have no evidence of this. There's Now, sometimes atheists will say that, um, I wonder why that cop's sitting there. He doesn't have his radar up. Sometimes atheists will say, well, the uh, DNA of chimps and apes and humans are the same, and that's not really true. The variation is so different that you could you would kill a human if you tried to use the uh, chimp ape gorilla DNA. You would kill the human. You can't you can't totally switch over the DNA. You would kill. Now I want to show you something. <laughs> Let's say there's another Yamaha, and it's called the FZ-1. Now, I will admit, it looks very similar to this Yamaha, this R1 that I'm on. But it didn't pop out of the Yamaha R1. The reason why they look the same is they have the same designer. They have the same factory, the same design plan, if you will. I would put it to you like this. Different Ford automobiles, and this is a great analogy, and they look similar. You can look at the Ford Focus, you can look at the Ford Mustang, you can look, and a lot of them will have, they'll use the same headlights, things like that, the same emblem, the Ford emblem. They didn't pop out or evolve from another car, it's just that they were created in the same factory. They have, if you will, the same design plan. Now, DNA is another problem for atheists. Atheists want you to believe that DNA, which is a language, they want you to believe that it created itself out of randomness. That's a big problem for atheists. You know the majority of the world rejects atheism. Why? It doesn't make sense. Now, I'm not making this up. If, if you're an atheist and you're saying that you have free will, then you're admitting that you have a mind. The mind, we're not talking about the brain, by the way. We're talking about the mind. For example, when you are happy, your brain isn't happy. You yourself are happy. When you're sad, <laughs> your brain isn't sad, guys. You are sad. So, there's a big difference between the mind and the brain. The mind tells the brain what to do. For example, my brain, if I want to go in the right side of this lane, watch, I'm choosing not to do it yet. I'm choosing not to do it. My brain just isn't flying me over there. I have a mind. I mean, I can't believe atheists don't agree with it. Now I want to go over to the right side where this guy has his trailer. Notice, now I'm on the right side. I mean, because I'm choosing to do so. Now, if I had a brain injury, even though, remember Christopher Reeves, by the way? God bless Christopher Reeves. But remember when he had that injury? He would tell people, he would say, it was kind of 
kind of sad. He would say, I get jealous, he says, because I see people, they want to stand up, and they just stand up and walk across the room. And he goes, you know, I miss that. And Christopher Reeve said that he wanted to stand up and get up and walk across the room. But because of his spinal injury, he couldn't do it. See, his mind wants to do one thing, but his physical body, which is separate from the mind, cannot do it. So this is another reason why atheism just does not make sense, <coughs> because I cannot believe that we're just a collection of chemical ex reactions and explosions. We're like atheist zombies, and our brain is just telling us what to do. No, no. The Bible says you are fearfully and wonderfully made. I cannot believe that the eye, with all its complexities and design, is a product of the Big Bang explosion out of chaos. If I go get all the parts of this motorcycle, I don't care how many times I throw them out there in this field, they're not going to come together. Chaos has never created such complexity of design. But this is what the atheists want you to believe. Go pick up your dog, Poochie Woochie. Go pick up little Poochie Woochie and hold Poochie Woochie in front of you. Go ahead, I'll wait. Okay, you back? The atheists want you to believe that an explosion occurred in the universe, which by the way they believe was caused by nothing. Nothing did it. <laughs> and as a direct result of that, this is what they believe, as a direct result of some chaotic explosion, Poochie Wooshie, your dog popped out with no design no God whatsoever. This is what they believe. This is madness, folks. Now, some people ask me, do you really think they believe that? I think in the beginning they really don't. In the beginning they really don't, but if you hang around with other atheists, it's like a cult. Atheism is a total cult. Most religious people I know are atheists. But if you hang around with a bunch of atheists, and they're saying that nothing created everything, and that out of chaos, DNA was created, and out of chaos, the human eye was created, and out of a chaotic explosion, Poochie Woochie carried to its logical conclusion, that's what they're saying, out of a chaotic explosion, Poochie Woochie popped out, or your cat Felix, this is what they're saying. If you hang around that long enough, it starts to get to you. You'll go crazy. You'll start to live in a fantasy world, which we call atheism. Another reason why atheism doesn't make sense is it lacks it lacks any explanatory scope. You know what explanatory scope is, guys? That is a explanation that covers everything. For example, the explanation that God created the universe really does have massive explanatory scope. We know whatever created the universe cannot be material. God is spiritual. That makes sense. We know whatever created the universe could not have had to be created itself. <coughs> Excuse me, because the universe can't create itself. It needs an outside source. Whatever created the universe has to exist necessarily by necessity. Like in other words, it cannot not exist. It's impossible for this thing this God will say, to not exist. But atheism doesn't have explanation.
explanatory scope. When you ask atheists, well, how were things created? They'll say, I don't know. And then they'll talk about evolution, which we already talked about that. That's not talking about anything but change over time. And even evolution itself, only microevolution has been proven. Macroevolution has not. The jury is still out on that. Microevolution has been proven. That's just change within limits. Ever since we've been documenting history, we've seen mankind change over time. They still basically have all the basic parts, their arms, their legs, the nose, the ears. But we've seen some things change. You notice over in China, the eyes of most Chinese people are different than the eyes, <coughs> the eyelids, the shape of the eye over in, let's say, the West, in America. So atheism just doesn't make sense. You have to believe, whoa, get over here, this guy's like jamming his brakes on all of a sudden. You have to believe out of chaos, order came. Atheism is madness, folks. Just doesn't make sense. You know, do me a favor. Click share below this video and send this to one of your uh, atheist friends and ask them, challenge them to answer this question. Ask them, what proof and evidence could you provide as an atheist that would show that atheism is accurate and correct? You know, no atheist has answered that question yet. Can't say evolution, right? What could they say?